Hello and welcome to lesson eight of the Learn to Crochet the Easy Way Masterclass. This is a 14 day course that was designed to help you feel confident with the basics of crochet and help you to start making the most beautiful things. I'm your instructor Sigoni and today we will be learning how to crochet the half double crochet stitch. This is one of the four basic stitches that we will be learning in this course and it's probably my favorite. Now, before we get started, be sure to sign up for a free sample of my Learn to Crochet ebook, and I will have that linked in the description box below. For every video in this course, there is a related page inside the ebook. There are 70 plus pages of full lessons, step-by-step -step picture tutorials, both left and right-handed, checklists, reference guides, patterns that we will be covering in this course, and you will receive access to all of these videos ad-free on the Teachable platform. Now, we are moving on to the half double crochet stitch. How are you feeling about the other two? I hope you're doing well with them and that you've been practicing. If you're still struggling with those, make sure you practice those before you try this one. It's super simple, but it's good to master the first two before you move on to learning something new. If you have any questions for those, make sure you leave comments on those videos so I can get back with you. Now there's one thing I want you to remember before we move on to lesson eight today. Although we've already talked about keeping straight edges, your first swatch for the half double crochet is not going to be perfect and it doesn't need to be perfect. All we're doing today is practicing the stitch and learning how to make it. This stitch can be a little tricky because we'll be pulling through all three loops, but I have a few tricks that I'll share in this video, so make sure you watch through the whole thing, and at the end of the video, we'll also cover how to count your stitches and how to count your rows. So make sure you watch the whole video. The half double crochet in the US is a half treble crochet in the UK. Now again, before we start practicing this stitch, I wanted to talk to you about yarn choices and hook choices. So we still wanna make sure that we are using a solid, lightly colored yarn that's either a medium weight four or a bulky weight five, and then use the corresponding hook that goes with that yarn. Using a lighter color yarn is essential to be able to count your stitches, recognize them, and understand where you're making mistakes. Now, with that out of the way, let's head into the tutorial for how to make a half double crochet stitch. Today we're gonna learn our third stitch together. So without further delay, let's crochet. To get started with the swatch, go ahead and chain 12. Then we'll move on to the stitch. Now for the half double crochet, we're gonna start the same way we did with the double crochet by yarning over our hook. So after we yarn over our hook, we're going to half double crochet into that third chain from our hook. So again, this does not count as a chain. So we have one, two, three. So we'll insert our hook into that third chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, and you'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over, and we're going to pull through all three loops. All right, and that's your first half double crochet. So again, let's yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, or the next chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Now we'll do it one more time slowly. Yarn over your hook, insert your hook into the next chain, which is right here. Yarn over, pull up a loop, and then whenever you're pulling through your three loops, it might help to take your thumb and your middle finger and just pull down on your foundation chain. Even if it looks like you're making your gaps a little bit big, don't worry about it because it will just straighten out later. So go ahead and pull down on your foundation chain, yarn over, and pull that strand through. And there you have it. So I'll do this slow a couple more times.
All right, and so we just reached the end of our row. And again, this knot right here is the slip knot from the beginning. For row one, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have 10 half double crochet in the first row. All right, now let's move on to working in rows with the half double crochet. Now we're going to chain two and turn your work. And because this chain two does not count as a stitch, we will half double crochet into that very first stitch here. So again, yarn over, insert your hook into that very first stitch, making sure that you go under both loops here. Yarn over, pull up a loop, and you'll have those three loops. And again, you can pull down on your first row to make it easier to pull through those three loops. And there you go. Now again, yarn over your hook, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops, and just continue repeating that down the row. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through three. All right, and now we've reached our last stitch, and I just wanted to mention here that this here is your very last stitch, so we're gonna work into this stitch. So that was our last stitch, and now we have our chain two from the beginning of the row. These are the two chains that we skipped on our foundation chain. So I just want you to know we are not working into that stitch. We're just going to ignore it, pretend it's not there. So your last half double crochet will be that very first half double crochet from the first row. Hopefully that makes sense. Now for row three and each row forward, we're just going to repeat row two. So for row, for row three, we're gonna chain two and turn your work and half double crochet into that very first stitch and in each stitch across. All right, so I'm going to half double crochet row by row until I reach about seven rows. And then we'll count our stitches and rows together. Okay, so here we have our swatch of half double crochet. If you didn't already notice, the screen is a little bit darker just so I could help you see the stitches a little bit better. Here's our first row of half double crochet and here's the second row. So you can see this is the front facing stitch. So this is what it looks on the front side and this is what it looks on the back side. So that's how you can kind of identify the front and the back of the stitch. This will help you to count your rows in the future. So here's row one, row two, row three, row four, row five, row six, and row seven. And to count the stitches, we can either count from the top or we can count the post. So because these stitches aren't as small as the single crochet, it's easier to count the post stitch. So you could do either one. So first let's count by the V stitch at the top. So we'll start with this one. And this is where we tied off our work. So this is not a stitch. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten. And this chain two, remember this does not count as a stitch. Now if you want to count by the post, let's start with this one. So we have one. Again, we're completely ignoring that chain two. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that is how you count your stitches and rows for the half double crochet. Okay, so it is officially time for your next challenge. For today's challenge, what you're going to do is create the same swatch except a little bit bigger. You can find the practice instructions for this challenge inside the workbook under lesson eight. 
Follow along with what I did in this tutorial by chaining 12, half double crocheting into the third chain from your hook and each chain down. Then continue half double crocheting row by row until you reach row 15. And if you want to keep going, go ahead and keep going. As I've said about a million times, the more you practice, the better you'll get. And remember, don't rip out your work, or at least take a picture before you do. That way you can see how far you've really come, even if it's just a few days apart. I promise you're gonna be impressed. So that's it for the half double crochet tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment telling me which of the basic stitches is your favorite so far. In the next lesson, we're going to learn the treble crochet. And this one isn't as common as the first three, but it's still a really great stitch to know how to do. Again, check the description box to sign up for a free sample of my Learn to Crochet ebook. And you will also find all the links to the corresponding videos in this course. As always, I'm your instructor, Sigoni, and I will see you in tomorrow's lesson.